Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Dan. This is the Board Game Rundown. Today we are going to review a werewolf game of a different... Nature. Breed? Nature? Ooh. Yeah, breed. Wow. Uh, growl. Sure. I really, 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 spoiler alert, like Growl. Plus, you can get a deluxe edition that comes with this fun little bag, and it looks like he is eating the game because there's teeth in there. There's teeth in there. Right? So Growl. Sure. Growl is werewolf, essentially. Where and more of a card game version. Look at this. Metal flip open box. Yep, there's a nice, nice rule book. Multiple languages. But here's the amazing thing about this rule book. Right on the back, it's got your setup and your player counts. It's everything, everything. you need right there. Right there. To start the game. You sure. get the deluxe edition. You get metal coins. Oh, there's Love the, metal coins. There's a the cardboard co coins <laughs> I get, put in there, You get some too. metal, some cardboard. <laughs> but yeah. There's, so nice. Yeah, and uh, so basically, everybody is going to be dealt some cards. They're either bites. I sleeve these because we play this a lot. A lot. Or you're going to have gold, and that's going to tell you that you are a human, human. in this village. Then everybody's going to get dealt a hand of cards where you can have different things like a salve, which can cancel out a wound, mm -hmm. or maybe a charm that will cancel out a bite. A bite. So if at any time in the game you have three bites that are not canceled out by charms, right. you are now a werewolf, and you are on the werewolf team. Yep, for the even, rest of the game. For the rest of the game. Even if you uh, give get away bites. your bites or your charms cancel out your bites, doesn't matter. You're still a What's werewolf. What's your wolf? You're a wolf. Always a wolf. That's what I've always <laughs> What's said. a wolf? Always a wolf. Right. Uh, Growl plays up to 10 players. 10 players. 10 players. There are cards. Uh, if you've got more than six players, you will add cards in. You can take cards out, right, right, to adjust for the player count. Yep. Another amazing thing about this game is that there's the knight aspect. Mm. So so you're going to play through. You're going to build a deck, and you're going to you're going to insert these knight cards and there's going to make a special thing happen. Right. And then after that, you pass cards. It's mm -hmm. like the phase separator. Right? Correct. Sure. Yeah. And then, and then as you pass cards, you're going to figure out if your neighbor is a wolf. Your neighbor or might be a werewolf or just not nice and giving you a wound. Fun fact, only werewolves can pass bite cards. Correct. Unless it's the rare circumstance where it's the only card you have, but that doesn't happen very often. I have not seen it happen yet, but yeah. I think, Feel like you have to say just in case. Yeah. Sure. Uh, at any point in time, if you have three of the wounds mm -hmm. and you don't have any canceled out by the salves, you die. Dead. And that's a bummer. Right. And you got to flip your thing over. You flip your thing over, which says died. You died. I died. I died. <laughs> Sad times. Yeah. But good news is even dead players still can score points. Correct. So by the end of the last night, Everyone who was a werewolf to start the game begins to howl. Mm -hmm. And then the people who became werewolves through the course join of in. the game join in. You're going to start a howl. <laughs> and then if there are any humans still alive, not howling, mm -hmm. humans win. Whoop, whoop. But if everybody's howling, all the living players, the werewolves win. And then what you do is you score one coin for being on the winning team. Yep. And then... You score a coin for each gold that you have. Mm -hmm. So the neat thing about gameplay, is, and this is where this is unique and really interactive and keeps people. Correct. It makes it different from other werewolves. Keeps type people games. going is that you're going to have, everybody's going to have their hand of cards. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have this deck that's face up. Right. And the active player is going to go, who needs a salve? Mm -hmm. They cannot take it for themselves. They, they have, have to, to give, give it to somebody. Give that card away to somebody else. So the fun thing is. You can uh, be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna give this to you, but you're gonna be nice to me, right? Yeah. And then, Bob, then maybe uh, Dan's like, <laughs> well, oh, I wanted that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this Dan, seems familiar. Yeah. Dan might go, uh, well, Bob just took a salve. Like, here's a wound. You know. Yeah. Who can take a bite? You know, without and, turning. Without Always turning. Give it to Tim. Yeah. And if, but the, and the thing is, like, there's a lot of strategy here, right? right? You gotta bluff, you know, your way into some cards. Because if you're a wolf, it's not bad to get the bites because that you gives you pass cards them. to pass. Right. But if you're a wolf giving out cards and say you know the other wolf is across the table, you might give them Remember. the cards so they can corrupt their neighbors. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or you just throw it at somebody because you, mm -hmm. you're mad at them. <laughs> I like how these ones I that do the canceling. Never. They've got like a little symbol at the top, right? So it says like, "Oh, this cancels out the droplet, which you get from the wound." And the charms got the little cancels out a bite up there, at the top. There so are the, the iconography so many is good. Nice. The iconography is really strong. Mm -hmm. And in the game, there are expansions. So there's a spells expansion, which will uh, they give you spells, so they never go to your hand. They're face up in front of you, and they provide other effects. Like a continuous effect. There's the uh, the seven sins expansion, which then. Um, 
also gives you more face up like ongoing effects mm-hmm. as you're playing. There is a new expansion coming out called Ooh. Madness. Nice. So like it might be like you have to keep repeating what like what a sentence that was just said to you <laughs> or you have to like always use your name. I've got some of the card like a pre-production. Oh, like oh, always okay. talking first person you're saying? Right. So when another player <laughs> I love that. says the word human, you have to do something. Uh, when another player looks at you longer than a second, you know, like something can happen. Stop it. Wow. Yeah. There's a tainted bite. Make a wolf noise. Uh, you uh, know, uh, duplicate the action or phrase that triggered this, you know. So there's like all kinds of neat right. things that are coming. So Growl has, likes a, that. Growl has a ton of replayability. I mm. really. It's probably my favorite werewolf game. It It is. Really? It mm. is up there for me. Yep. It is up there. Uh, well, there's another one that I really like. Uh, they but it plays completely different. Right, it's a different style. Right, correct. Right. So player count, we said it's what five to oh, excuse me, four to ten. I would recommend uh, at least six. I feel yeah. like it goes better at least with like, five or six, mm-hmm. and then higher up is better, great. Right, right. Higher up is great. Four could be maybe too quick. Sure. I think the big thing with four too is um only having one person that's not your neighbor. Right, to interact yeah, with sure. is, Correct. is the other thing. Sure. Mm-hmm. We'll put the box over there. Okay. All right. Uh, gameplay. I mean, we kind of yeah. walked through how you, to... You went all over there. How yeah, to play. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. I really have fun playing mm-hmm. this game. Yeah, this is um, this is a party version, is how I described it, of like a werewolf game. And um, I, 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 I... You can hang out and relax a little bit more. I mean, 100%. There's, there's still yeah. the deduction aspect. Yes. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, it's not as like, like I think we were talking uh, earlier before filming and you were like, you know, you can just kind of sit and be quiet mm-hmm. where in growl, it's like, no, you've got to, you're, you're yep. up. Yep. It's your, it, you're it'll, lobbying it'll be your for, turn. You got to figure out who to give a card to. You're lobbying for cards. You're yep. lobbying to not be given cards. Correct. Like uh, I just, I wouldn't even think in my head, I don't even s- compare this to too many other werewolf games because mm. it's, it takes that theme, but it almost makes it this party game. Like I would almost say, and I get, this is also a deduction game, but I, I would compare this more to like, I would rather play this than resistance. You know, I uh, think that kind that's of that's easy based, for me because I yeah, don't like. like sure, <laughs> I'm just saying that kind of resistance feels like a team based party more game to me, mm-hmm. and this would kill that. Yeah, like, and there's to me. I we've had some madcap like with this game, like with people oh, yeah. arguing over who gets what and oh, why yeah. should they get that. And, and oh, no, he's a werewolf. Don't give him a card. Yes. Another bite card. He's just gonna pass it to me. Mom will always <laughs> betray you. Well, will always betray you. I have learned this. Betray right. you. You <laughs> will always betray me. There you, you go. go. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say uh, if for a who's this game for and and weight wise, I'm gonna oh, say that line. like you this is gateway. Yeah. With but with sure. but with enough replayability that you're gonna keep playing it. Right. But you can you can get people that have never played correct to to get in. You can and take play that to this. like Thanksgiving dinner and then like, hey, oh, yeah. clear the table. Let's, and it's let's play and it's better, growl. in my opinion. One of the things that I like uh, be, is that you're not like constantly like, what is my role again, and what do I do? Right. Like, oh yeah. Your role is you're human or you're a wolf. Sure. Yeah. Just organize your hand so yeah. that you know yes. what cancels what, and yep. you will always know. Yeah. What's going right. on? Always pass me all the gold. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that the big things with this, right, is it's it's a bluffing deduction party game. So yeah. like if any of those things work for you or work for your gaming group, this is this is like you were saying, a gateway kind mm-hmm. of like a very early grab yeah. for those kind of things. You don't want to jump straight to some insane heavier thing if you don't even know if you like it. Right. This is one that you will like. Right. You know? Right. I prefer this over the one night. Sure. Uh, I, yeah. I haven't fully played them. Sure. So, well, technically. Yeah. But I, I I am a big fan of Growl. Yeah. So we will now uh components wise, if oh, yeah. if you get the deluxe version, the metal coins are great. Yeah, they're very they're nice. They're really great. I recommend them. Mm-hmm. But the punch out coins are fine. Yep. The for, I, for the purpose that they serve. For the purpose yeah, they serve. They just it's they're victory score, point yeah. things there. They're yeah. victory points. Yep. Uh, I love the artwork. Yeah. I love the, the yeah. stylized artwork yeah, I think on that's the a, cards. Yeah, see if you can hold up a wolf, Bob, because that, that's the thing that people take away a lot, I think, from this game is it has that art style. You can show the just the cover of the box, the top yeah, of the box. I guess you could have done that. Oh, yeah, I could have done that too. Thanks, great. Guys. They've already seen it. You're good. You go. <laughs> making, but I, making I, you triple work. I love it. Right. That's all right. <laughs> I, but I love the artwork for this yeah, game. I do too. I love the theme. Yep. All of, the iconography, like you said, like right? Saying, yep. The iconography tells you everything you need to know on yep. the card. Oh, it's this is very one coin. Oh, this is a bite. Oh, this cancels. Autobite. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it's very well designed. Yep. It's very solid. 
Uh, all right, so we're going to go to final thoughts. Okay. okay. We're going to do an average. So we're each going to give a score from 1 to 10. Okay. 1 being boop, boop. Mm -hmm. 10 being yay. Mm -hmm. And then we will average. I would be amazed if we ever do a 1 on this show. Genuinely. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll just give a we, game we, we, a 1. That much Yeah, hatred. there's games I would give a 1, but I wouldn't want to play the game to do the review. Sure. To give it a one. <laughs> right. I'm trying to think of like that much. Even the games that I despise are like. Twos. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a couple ones in my pocket. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to rate it, and then we'll give you an average score. Uh, I've got a good mm. feeling about this one. So okay. who wants to go first? Go ahead. Me? Yeah, sure. Uh, I always say, so I just didn't say this time. Sure. Yeah. I'll see right. you guys panic. <laughs> I love social deduction games. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I love heavy games, but I also love party games. Right. And so if I can get a good party game, and I know I'm going to get it played, there's mm -hmm. a lot of value there. Yeah. So for me... With those things considered, this is a 10. Wow. I wow. love Growl. I was expecting a 9. Okay. I'm glad to hear you up to 10. I, okay. I, the artwork, and again... I do enjoy the artwork a I, lot. Something I took for granted, and then when Bob pointed it out, mm -hmm. is the iconography on the cards. Yeah. I use it, yeah. but just subconsciously. And right. you pointed out, that really is one of the things that kind of puts it over the top for okay. me. And then the moves it from the 9 to the 10. Right. And then the expansions you can get in the, the box are... Very accessible right. and they're very easy. They add a lot to the game, so you're gonna have extra things going on. Right. So when you're done, when you're done just playing the base game, you can throw those in, and you're not going to overwhelm yourself. Right. So for me, it is a ten, and I feel good about that. Okay. I love and I love the magnetic, yeah, uh, uh, flap yep. on the box. I love and the goofy, to that satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Snapshot. I love the goofy bag googly with eyes. the googly eyes. Like googly eyes. So so for me, it is a ten. Okay. Well, I'll go. go ahead. Uh, I am going to do this game out of a 10 for me is probably a 7. And the main reason for that is I enjoyed the game a lot. I just tend to prefer more serious deduction games. Sure. So, like I said, though, if I'm going for a party-style deduction game like a Resistance, this trumps that. I'm trying right. to think of what other ones I even have because, like I said, I prefer the thinkier, sure. more serious. I don't know why. I just like resistance. I would give a one. I just like <laughs> really. Okay. Yeah, I do not like it. I will say actually, I played it quite a bit off topic lately, and uh, I man, I don't like that game very much. <laughs> but uh, anyway, stop playing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Catherine. It's Catherine's, it's Catherine's <laughs> favorite. Growl. So well, she's played this since, but it yeah. used to be her. Favorite. We will convert her. But um, anyway, yeah. So I think this is probably a seven for me. I like it quite a bit. Um, there are just yeah. In that category, there there are sure. other games I like. There's other itches yeah. you need scratched. Exactly, yeah. yeah a, I get or it. bit. Or <laughs> bit. Oh! All right, Bobby, what do you got for us? Um, I'm not the biggest into the social deduction types mm -hmm. of games. Oh, okay. But I do enjoy that's the That's because art. you and I get picked on when we play them, too. We do. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably say I'd give it an eight. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it's Like I said, it's one of my favorite uh, of the, of the uh, werewolf games. Um, I do like the metal bits that you got. That makes of me course. happy. Yeah, it's a weakness <laughs> for you. <laughs> it is a weakness for me. Um, but yeah, like I said I, I enjoy the art, and it is a lot more interactive because I don't like as sometimes you're playing a bigger game, a werewolf game, and people are just sitting there and just letting everybody else do all of, like the heavy lifting. You know right. what I mean? Right. This you didn't one, say anything, involved. and you just made yeah. it all the way to the end. Exactly. Right. Because you know, no, yeah, nobody zeroed in on you. you know? Right. This game, everybody, you know, when it's your turn, you have to figure out who to give your card to. You know. Yes. So. I, I like that it kind of makes people take a turn. And the passing, right, yes. of the cards. And to, each night you got to pass cards And you have to way. shuffle them all uh -huh. together so you don't, don't know, know who's, who's giving you what. Yes. Yep. I, I, I like that. So it's so. like pay attention to your hand before you shuffle them right. up. Right, memorize so you, your hand and then right. uh, see right. what gets added to it. Yeah, there's a lot of good things yep. to There's a lot, a lot of things well, yep. That that I don't get out of other games. Correct. And it is a, it is a go-to party mm. social deduction game yep. for me. Sure. I have been trying to do the math in my head. I'm not good at that because our, our mather is not standing here. Our math oh, yeah. is so I'm where's our sure mather with our point, average? I'm pretty sure that's an eight point three. Eight point three, you think so? Let's, pretty sure that's an eight point three. Let's do a little calculator. Ten plus eight plus seven is twenty five. Divided by three. Divided by three. Divided by, divide by something. Three equals eight point three. Yeah. Oh. Bam, bam, bam. You can here. tell though. You can see in the video. Rewind and look back while they were talking about their final thoughts. You can see me looking around as I'm trying to do math in my head. I'm like, I'm like, that I, was I, his can, brain I can do working. this. His brain. <laughs> I, we smelled smoke, but we didn't want to panic <laughs> yeah. mid video. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love math. I cannot do it in my head. Give me pencil and paper. So. Yeah. 
Anyway, show your work. So eight, guys, so board game rundown gives gives Growlin eight point three out of ten. That's pretty yeah, solid, pretty man. Solid. That is yeah. solid. I love this game. Yep. I have a good time with it. I'm glad mm-hmm. you guys uh, at least feel pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want a social deduction game that is going to be constant pointing and laughing, <laughs> that's that's this, this one. This one, right? <laughs> this one's yep. good. Mm-hmm. This one's really good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm glad we had an opportunity to review it. Yeah. I look forward to talking about the Madness expansion Ooh, when it yeah. comes out, because yeah. that's coming to Kickstarter soon, yeah, so and we will talk about it here on the show, I believe. Cool. So we should have a, like hopefully, a, a, a preview copy. To play. with Because uh, they, they sent me um, cards, but they, they, the print wasn't right. Ah. So the artwork is on theme, right? Is right. on point. But the the backs of the cards aren't exactly right, oh, okay. uh, color-wise. Oh, so yeah. you have to put them in other sleeves. Colored sleeves. Correct. Yeah. Correct, sure. and, but but the variations on the bites and the gold, and they're making you do different things. Yeah, yeah no. it's, it's going to be that. amazing. Yeah, it's right, it's that. going to be a lot a of fun. More humor in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah. I, and again, right, like if you're sitting around playing a big old party game, you want to have a bunch of laughs. You yeah. want to have everybody into it yep. and having a good time. Yep. And uh, yeah, this so for you. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. This has been Growl. Yeah, I've been Tim. I've been Bob. I've been Dan. This was the board game rundown. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.